Rigel DS1054Z measuring the transmit frequencies of the XP DS2. In continuation from my first video, I want to recap just for a moment. And you can see here is what we determined was two frequencies being transmitted at a time on the XP DS and that all the frequencies were the same as long as 14 max was chosen. And those two frequencies was 4.4 kilohertz and 13.5 kilohertz. And you can see that here. But today, we want to change this. I'm in the general program. We're gonna to go to 24 max. And you can see what changes here. The frequencies spread out a little bit. So let's start by measuring the first frequency here. And close approximation is about seven and a half kilohertz. Next frequency. Shows to about twenty two. 8 kilohertz. So by this, the XP TS2 in 24 max also transmits two frequencies. And both these frequencies are different than max 14. So now what we want to do, we want to go into each program and you can see how this changes. Going to change it to 24 here, and you can see same identical frequencies 7.5, 22.8. I'm going to go into sensitive fast, and I'm going to go down here and change that to 24 max here. And you notice here the same waveform doesn't change. Going to fast. You see now when I changed it to fast, everything changed on the screen. That's because it's using a different set of frequencies. So we're going to go down to 24 max. You can see here, top frequency 22.8. Still, the frequency stayed the same. So we're going to Park. And as you well know, Park already uses 24 max. So nothing's changed here. But to show you what it's showing here, 24 max. I'm going to go to the next program is D8C. That's my favorite, by the way. That's just what I prefer. And we're going to look, change it to 24 max, and here are the frequencies, I, identical. And we won't go into mono yet, I may do that at a later time, you can see here it's showing 17, and I could move this over, and I'll just do so, so you can see it, the accuracy of these measurements. Seventeen kilohertz, seventeen here, and then on the Deus Mono at seventeen kilohertz. And we're going to move on to the Gold Field. Put it on twenty-four max, and now we're going to have to go back and readjust what we had to start with. 
I'm going to start at the lower one so you can see 7.5 here. Go to the next frequency. Twenty-two point eight here. I'm going to go to Relic, which Relic's already using twenty-four max, two frequencies. Diving. Boosted up to 24 max. And here we see these two frequencies. Yet again, 7.5 and, and 22.8 kilohertz. Beach. Using the 24 max. As you can see here, two frequencies. Beach sands. Twenty four max here so what we've discovered is each of the preset programs when choosing 14 max transmit exactly the same two frequencies always here when we go into the 24 max Yet again, we're transmitting two different frequencies, seven and a half and 22.8. We also demonstrated the accuracy of the single frequency mode and demonstrated that when 17 was chosen, 17 was indicated. Now, something else I've learned, and I thought I'm going to share this with you. It's pretty interesting. I, I was actually excited about it, to be honest. But when you go into the single, single frequency, two of the frequencies that we've been seeing measured is actually a choice. You have an option. Some will go here. Well, all the way down, 4.4 .4 kilohertz. That is one of the frequencies being transmitted when we use 14 max in the multi-frequency mode. The second one that I thought was pretty interesting was 7.5 kilohertz, which is part of what we're measuring today on the 24 max includes the 7.5 kilohertz. So these two options here are in the single frequency options if they need to be used. And, and I will explain later on how important single frequency option is at certain times. So for today, this is the Rigel DS1054Z measuring the XP DS2 transmit frequencies with the 24 max menu function chosen. Have a great day.